Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really interesting question, you can easily see this question in the middle of the screen. We have 3 minus 3 times 3 minus 3. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy, however, many people are going to get this problem incorrect, so if you could do this without a calculator, try to solve this question right now and write your option down into the comment section, write a solution down into the comment section. Right here we have three options, we have option A 0, we have option B 3 and we have C minus 9, which is quite easy because we have only three options so right now this is up to you what do you think is a correct answer to this question here is our question and write your option down write your, write your solution down in the comment section and why i record this video because this looks like very easy question i agree with it but in the same way a lot of students make this common mistake a lot of students forget about basic math principles they forget about basic math algorithm how can you solve this this question so a lot of students solve this question like that they say okay right here from left to right three minus three equal to zero right here 3 minus 3 equal to 0, so we have 0 times 0, we have this multiplication in the middle, so the 0 times 0 equal to equal to 0, so a lot of students might be saying, okay, 0 is a correct answer, and I go, I go to the next question, and here's my quick explanation about this approach, you can easily solve this question like that, but is it correct or not correct, here is the main, the main question, because right here, obviously, whatever order of operation we select, is going to create a different answer, right, so if you look closely, right here, we subtract it first, right here, the, our first step, and in the same way, we subtract on the on the right side so we are we're talking about subtraction first uh subtraction on the right side uh, at first uh, yeah and we have this multiplication in in the middle as a second step so the first step multiplication right here subtraction sorry and right here subtraction and the last step is this multiplication so is it correct or not correct for better understanding this principle we should know about order of operation because right here you can easily see that we solve this question absolutely randomly we just solve it we just jump from left to right, we just solve this question wherever we want. It looks like randomly and chaotically, in some words like chaotically method. And right now I'm going to show you about the thing which is called order of operation. And what I mean order of operation? For example, everyone knows like the basic one, we have addition and subtraction. Moreover, we know about multiplication, division, sometimes we're talking about like powers, like 2 to the power 3 or whatever, yeah, we're talking about this this power sometimes we have parentheses and sometimes we have inner parentheses we have a lot of this a lot of this stuff we have a mixture of multiplication division addition yeah we have a lot of really interesting things in terms of basic mass and uh, what i mean order of operation i mean order of operation this is the main thing which helps us to to uh, know what is the correct order to perform this mathematical operations okay so we need to know what is this first step what is second step because right here we can't solve our question randomly we can't say okay addition first subtraction second multiplication search we can't talk like that we need to know about order of operation and in the next part i'm going to show you the thing which is called order of operation here we can see it the thing which is called pemdas order of operation but to be honest a lot of students uh, know about bodmas yeah we have uh, the same thing which is called bodmas it just depending on what country you live in we're talking about the same stuff uh, because bodmas mainly used in in the uk in india pemdas mainly in europe in the usa but to be honest the main principles are absolutely the same for both orders of operation okay so let me just erase all of this stuff i'll use pemdas order of operation and to be honest there's no like this word pemdas in, in english yeah this is like a quick checklist okay because this each of these letters stands for something for example letter p right here stands for parentheses we are talking about this type of brackets sometimes we are talking about this type of squiggly brackets because sometimes people use these brackets as well so we're talking about these group and symbols yeah parentheses is our group and group and symbol okay after parentheses because we're talking about uh, priority so it means that the first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses so first step you should scan your expression in terms of like parentheses where do we have parentheses and we have it at all yeah it's a really interesting moment and when you don't have parentheses you can easily go to the next step the next step after parentheses we need to find exponents e stands for exponent but saying in simple words this is our powers for example 3 to the power 5 we need to raise this 3 to the power 5 for example uh, 3 to the power 100 well we need to raise this 3 to this power power 100 okay so we're talking about basic powers for example right here we have two we have right here uh, three square three, three cubed well after parentheses we need to evaluate uh, these uh, both values okay this one and this 
one, this three square and this three cube after parentheses, obviously. Yeah? Okay, and after multiplication, after exponents, we are talking about the next part. The next part is n, which stands for multiplication, and d stands for division. Why I mentioned these both together? Because this is one common group. We need to like take in our mind that this is our parentheses brackets, because this is one common group. Multiplication, division, this is one common group. We are talking about the same priority, so we need to perform it from left to right, okay? So, for example, when we have 2 times 3 divided by 5, well, we need to multiply it first, because multiplication is the first sign which comes like from, the, from left to right. And obviously, when we have 2 divided by 5 and times 3, well, the first sign from left to right will be, will be the division, okay? So, we are not talking about higher priority in terms of like multiplication, division, mathematical operations, we are talking about the same priority and we need to perform it from left to right. I really hope you, you get it, okay? And the last step is addition, subtraction, A stands for addition, S stands for subtraction, and to be honest, this is one common group, but on this and this point, you don't need this order of operation because we're talking about basic stuff. You don't need when you have, for example, 2 plus 5 minus 3. You don't need this order of operation anymore because you can easily solve it without any problems. But when you have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, make sure, yeah, something like that. Well, we need to look at this order of operation real quick or to learn this real quick because saying in simply words, addition, subtraction has the lowest priority, uh, a little bit higher priority has multiplication division right here, and the highest has parentheses and after parentheses exponents. So it's like block of, of four elements. So right here, the first element, the second element exponents, the third elements multiplication division, and the first element is addition and subtraction. Okay, so it was a quick introduction, quick research about this uh, order of operation, which is called PEMDAS. And right now, let's solve our question according to this PEMDAS. So here's our question. I guess this is not, it's not a complicated question in terms of like these elements and parentheses powers we have basic one so right now i'm going to show you how can we solve this type of question whenever we have a mixture of like subtraction multiplication in this case but doesn't matter we can easily have like parentheses exponent multiplication division addition subtraction mixture so and we need to know what is the correct order okay so first of all every time you have this type of questions you need to write this checklist on the on the left side so right here we have pandas order of operation and right now right here we go from uh, like um, horizontal orientation from from left to right and right here let's write it in, in like vertical thing and let's go from the top to the bottom so the first step is to scan from the top to the bottom what elements do we have in our question so let's do this right now first of all the first step is parentheses okay right here let's scan our question in terms of parentheses obviously we don't have any of those we don't have any parentheses like that we don't have it so we can easily we can easily skip this part we don't have this parentheses what about e exponents as i told before we don't have any squares cubes we don't have it so we can easily skip this part as well we don't have we don't have exponents the next part is multiplication and it's really important moment because m stands for multiplication and we have this multiplication right here so it means it means that we need to multiply it first because our last step will be subtraction because we have only only multiplication and subtraction subtraction we have right here and we have subtraction right here and we have subtraction subtraction right here and we can easily cancel real quick division we don't have it and we don't have subtraction so it was a quick research about this order of operation and right now we follow closely we are talking about priority so it means higher position higher priority and in our case multiplication had the higher position than subtraction it's not only in this case basically in terms of mass multiplication division group has the higher position multiplication division has the higher position than addition and subtraction so our first step is to evaluate all this stuff with multiplication and division and the second step is to evaluate the expression with multiplication and division uh, signs okay Okay, so right now let's let's solve this question okay let's do this right now so as i told before we are talking about priority so multiplication is our first step and subtraction is our is our second step so let me just erase all of this stuff because i don't have enough space right here okay so as i told before multiplication first here's our first step so as a result what do we have we have three minus three times three equal to nine and we have minus minus three so it was our first first step we just multiply three times three times three 
And right now, the second step, if we look closely, we can easily subtract it without any order of operation because we have a basic thing. We have 3 minus 9 minus 3, which is equal to, I guess, right here we have minus minus 9. And it looks like this is our correct answer. But in the beginning, we had mm, the really important moment we said, I guess, that the uh, correct answer is 0. Okay, let me just erase all of this stuff. Right now, I'm going to show you a few words. I'm going to say a few words about this minus 9. This is a correct approach. First of all, we need to put our imaginary brackets right here in your head because multiplication is the first step and the next we have subtraction from left from left to right this is our order of operation in 99% of cases it doesn't matter where do you live we're talking about multiplication first and then subtraction doesn't matter multiplication first then addition or division first then addition so multiplication division group uh, multiplication division group is all the time before like something like that we have this sign is has the higher priority than addition and and subtraction so this is extremely important part addition subtraction in the end multiplication division in the beginning i'm talking about the thing when we have like a mixture of multiplication division addition subtraction only but don't forget about parentheses don't forget about uh, powers yeah we, and when we have like uh, all of this stuff you can easily see this order of operation so then you need to go to from right to left you need to look at it what do you have in a perspective from from right, right to left step by step you have addition we have multiplication exponent parentheses so we need to scan each of these parts so we need to scan this part you need to scan this part in our case it happened that we have only multiplication and subtraction and to be honest it's not that hard we have multiplication first and the last step is is subtraction so just keep in mind our minus nine is a correct answer but right now I'm going to show you a few words. I'm going to say a few words about this about this solution in the beginning. So in the beginning we said that correct answer is that correct answer is zero. Well, this is extremely tricky approach because this is like 90, not like 90, maybe 80 percent of students say that correct answer is is zero because sometimes happen that students forget about order of operation, students don't know about order of operation. But here's a few tricky moves, tricky hints about this question. So we have if we have parentheses right here, so right here and right here, well, correct answer will be zero 100 percent. Okay, so we are talking about subtraction first, subtraction second right here at, at the same moment and the last step is and the last step is multiplication because in terms of pemdas parentheses has the highest highest priority or board mass done in the matter we are talking about brackets and in this case we have parentheses right here and right here so we are talking about parentheses before multiplication and with parentheses correct answer will be will be zero obviously this is absolutely correct thing correct answer will be zero with parentheses but in our case let me just erase all of this stuff all of this stuff from here and uh, we don't have parentheses in our question so we can easily say the next part okay with parentheses right here correct answer is zero in our case we don't have parentheses so we have three minus three times three minus three which is equal to minus nine and we have this answer this is our this is our C. Well, if you choose correct answer A, well, you need to review your basic math a little bit because this is a wrong approach. But when you say that correct answer is option C, well, you should be proud of yourself. You should be happy because this is a very great, a very great approach. And if you want to plug in, if you want to test, if you want to plug in this question in your calculator, just be, be careful because you need to plug in the whole problem from right to left. So don't plug in like three minus three at first because sometimes calculators gives you zero instantly, but your calculator doesn't know what we have further. But further you have multiplication, and three minus three, yeah, we have something like that. So try to plug in the whole entire problem, okay, from right to left. So you need to input all of this stuff and as, as the correct answer will be minus nine but when you plug in it step by step sometimes happen that those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in so for example you plug in this question from left side and a calculator doesn't know what we have further but further you have like multiplication which is extremely important which is extremely important mathematical operator so it was my explanation about this question it was my quick like research about this question i really hope you understand it i really hope you understand why minus nine is a correct answer why zero is a, is not a correct answer but when zero will be correct answer with parentheses obviously right here and right here yeah and i hope you understand why option b is absolutely wrong because it's not uh, any case when we when we have three as a correct answer yeah so thank you for your time wish you all the best in your life you can also write your notes write your question down into the comment section what do you think about it leave any comment i really appreciate it when you leave your response down into the comment section and thank you for your time see you in the next videos and have a great day